Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. Tonight's video, what we're going to do is um, add a view criteria onto the employee VO view object. In previous videos, we created the employee v EO, and the e VO reads off of that as the base. And what we're going to do in this is add a view criteria, which is basically a where clause that you can build dynamically by selecting the values here. And we're going to do last name, and I like to do contains because that is a little easier to search on. And we're going to choose a bind variable, which is recommended. The name of it is going to be L name. Now you can also, um, at this point, um, add an item and we could say or first name equals bind variable again but I'm not going to do that right now we'll just keep a very simple um, screen and I would recommend in ignoring the case because what this does is it tells the where clause just to look for upper and it takes the upper and it does that and ignore values it doesn't seem to be refreshing, but normally when this puts in there, you actually see a change in the screen. But I don't really care about that. We'll just leave it as is. Now you can see here that we have the employee VO criteria and the bind variable, which is a string created. I'll refresh everything here. And we'll go over to our main JSPX page where I have a small form created. It's just a table view with a few of the uh, more like readable um, fields from the table. And I'm going to refresh my data control and then look in the named criteria area. And here you can see, in fact, that we have the employee VO. And it's as simple as dragging and dropping it. Now, if we didn't have the table created, we could do it with this, and it would automatically populate, which is a great thing. Um, but we're just going to choose this, although we do have to do one thing. As you may or may not know, this table will be refreshed when this runs. So we need to set the partial triggers on it. So we're going to scroll down to here and hopefully find it and if you can't you can cheat partial triggers there we go now i think it's easier just to make sure that you have all the information you need so i'm just going to put this in there like that and it'll put this in here now this happens to be the query id and I am not sure about this. Every now and then I see it added, and sometimes I see it, I don't see it added. But this represents, if we go over to the structure window, and we click on the query, this represents the, the actual ID of this query. Okay? So now let's save it. And we will now run it. Okay, we've got our form here, and interestingly enough, there's no data to display. We type in king, a name, unknown name, and we get two values for it. So it does work. I don't particularly like this um, setup that it's on such a screen, large screen. Um, I'd rather have something closer by, but um, it does work, and it's fairly simple to implement. So. I hope this is uh, of interest to you and has been valuable. Have a good evening.